Hi, I'm Pat Mangan, Director of Governance Education at NRECA. Welcome to Governance Talk. My guest today is Susan Olander. Susan, you are the Vice President and General Counsel at Federated Rural Electric Insurance Exchange. Thanks for being here. You know I love being here, Pat. Thank you. Well, great. We're talking about consent agenda today. It's a tool that can make the board meeting just a little bit more efficient. Maybe it can save a little time, but I think most importantly, it can make sure and help a board to focus on strategic issues uh, rather than these administrative issues. Would you agree? I would agree. You, a consent agenda, you use it to take your routine, non-controversial items, you group them together, usually at the beginning of the meeting. Okay. And you ask for a motion and vote with all of them together. All right, so give us some examples of some things that could be included in a consent agenda. Board minutes from prior from, board from, meetings. Okay. Committee meeting minutes. Okay. Executive reports that don't require approval. Mm -hmm. They just need you to read them. They're just informational only. Really don't even have any questions that would arise out of them. Okay. Documents that need updating with addresses, uh, staff approval for bank signature cards, things of that nature. They're routine. You're going to approve them anyway. There mm -hmm. aren't going to be any questions about them. It just moves the meeting along and gives you more time in the meeting instead of constant motion, second, and vote. Which can consume half an hour, 20 minutes, half hour at the beginning Correct. of the meeting. So it's a time-saving mechanism. Yes. I will say, if a board wants to use a consent agenda, mm -hmm. they need to adopt a policy before they start using it, saying, we can do this. I see. Just to make sure they have not documented that they've got the authority. The authority to do it. Correct. Okay. Very good. What if I want to talk about some item that is batched in that consent agenda? How does that work? Can I do it? And, and how does that work? I think that's a great question because what you don't want is people to think, well, we just have to approve this mm -hmm. because it's all bundled in our consent agenda. Mm -hmm. Every director retains the right to say, I want this item plucked out and considered separately. Okay. And you don't vote on that. If a director asks that, it is automatically pulled out of the consent agenda. There's a couple of ways you can handle that. If a director is not going to consent to a particular item on a consent agenda, they mm -hmm. should let the board chair know ahead of time. Okay. But if they haven't had the time to really think through they want to do that, if it comes up at the beginning of the board meeting, then the chair decides, do we take it up immediately, this item that's been plucked out, mm -hmm. or do we move it and place it elsewhere on the agenda and go ahead with the consent agenda vote and then move into the regular agenda. Okay, so it sounds like there's a, a good deal of freedom in, in how you go about Correct. it. Okay. But Very it's good. important to remember any director has the right to pull something off. Mm -hmm. And that's no the, no motion, no second. No. It's I've got the authority, the right, if I if you will, to, to ask for that item Correct. to be discussed. Correct. Very good. So it's a time-saving mechanism, certainly. What are some other reasons that uh, a board might want to use a consent agenda? Because it's time-saving, what does that do? It gives you more time in the board meeting, more time to focus on strategic issues. The routine has been taken care of like that. Mm -hmm. And so now you have an extra 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Let's talk about strategic issues. More time for discussion. Mm -hmm. Strategic discussions, pros, cons, risks, costs, these types Correct. of things. I don't know of too many directors that are looking for a longer board meeting, so uh, anything we can do to get to the strategic discussions sooner and have more time for them is generally thought of as better. It's also important to note that everything that is approved in that consent agenda is recorded in the minutes. I see. So that you know what was included in that vote. Okay, on a so we don't just say the, the con items on the consent agenda passed, we list them individually? Yes. Is that what, okay. Yes, list them individually for that motion. Very good. Susan, thanks very much. I appreciate you sharing that with us. My pleasure, Pat.